President Joko Widodo recently attended the virtual 37th ASEAN Summit from Bogor Presidential Palace. President Joko Widodo attended the virtual 37th ASEAN Summit hosted by Vietnam from the Bogor Presidential Palace on Thursday. The participants consisted of leaders from ASEAN member countries and eight leaders of ASEAN partners. The president joined five sessions via conference call, including the 37th ASEAN Plenary Summit, the 23rd ASEAN Summit with China, the 21st ASEAN Summit with South Korea, the 23rd ASEAN Summit with Japan, and the 17th ASEAN Summit with India. One of the initiatives to be proposed by Indonesia at the summit is the effort to build a joint commitment among ASEAN members to reopen connectivity and restore the economy in the region through the ASEAN Travel Corridor Arrangement or TCA. During a virtual speech at the 23rd ASEAN Japan Summit, President Widodo also said there are two things that ASEAN and Japan can do to restore the regional economy amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. The first is to work together to accelerate economic recovery itself. ASEAN can be Japan's main partner in diversifying supply chains as well as expanding investments. The president also suggested that ASEAN and Japan work together to increase strategic trust by creating a conducive situation in the region as stability is the prerequisite for the economy to move again. 